a Vietnam veteran reached out to two on your side. He says homeless people have been using the veteran's post as an entrance to a secluded area. They are trespassing, he says, and he wants them to stop. Frustrated with what's happened so far, he called Brittany Weiss. Post 3784 helps veterans of foreign wars. They have many fundraising events throughout the year and do their best to keep the area secure and safe. Lately, they've been having trouble doing so because of an increase in foot traffic. So they got clothes, you got a shopping cart over there, you got a cart that they, that's the way they get in and out, moving their stuff around. The property on the other side of this fence is littered with stuff. And then over on the other side, you got an old bed that they left back there. Tommy Petrie is the commander of Post 3784. Since last summer, he's been watching the foot traffic move through here, homeless entering and leaving the woods. It's, it's a big problem. Carts, bikes, people hauling items. Petrie says he's spoken to one of them who goes by the name Paul. And I asked him what he was doing. And he said he was going back to that building back there, which he had permission to go back there. Here's where Post 3784 is located off of South Choctaw Drive in North Flannery Road. And here's the woods behind there. Tucked in there is a building. It's where Petrie says people are gathering. <laughs> Junk all over the floor. Petrie walked back there and took pictures. Propane tanks, bags, bikes, wooden planks, a wagon fill the area. They just constantly came through here. Petrie says they're using the post's electricity and water. Took the knob off, but I mean, they ain't going to stop me if they got pliers. It's been so invasive, some volunteers donated the supplies and labor to put up this 10-foot tall fence. You'd think that would do the job. I thought it would. Last week, Petrie captured this surveillance video, a car in the lot late at night leaving with a large item on the roof. The next morning, he found this. And the guy had cut the tension wire on the bottom so he could pull it up and either put stuff back there or get stuff out of there. Petrie says other businesses in the area are having run-ins with the homeless using their property to access the woods. He's called police several times and filed a report a month ago. Nothing's been done since, and he can't get in touch with police. Until I called. Hey, detective, following up on a report from last month. The detective told Petrie they'd follow up with him soon. Can I give you the, the wooded area is owned by the O'Neills. It's divided among family members. One of them has a house nearby. We knocked on his door to talk to them about the homeless and whether or not they had permission to be there. Hey, are you Michael O'Neill? Turns out the homeless do not have permission. The O'Neills say they're aware of the homeless trouble. They've initiated their own protective measures, putting up fencing, even running them off last month. I thought my other cousin had gone and run those people off, and so I thought they were gone. While Petrie's doing what he can to secure the veterans organization, he's angry that people are abusing its benefits. Baton Rouge Police does help to remove trespassers from private properties. I have passed along the contact information for the O'Neills to the city. To on your side in Baton Rouge, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2.